guys, LMG here, and I'm here to bring you today the Voltec review. Yeah, the DLC just dropped last night, actually early for a change, though of course there were some problems with the uh, PS4 uh, getting out on time. And look at my mad skills! Look at that! That is amazing! Oh wow, okay. Bravo sir, bravo sir. This is actually not our Let's Play guy or my main Twitch guy. I power leveled somebody over the weekend because I didn't want to use a lot of mods for this review. Uh, because mods and settlement mods and stuff tend to break whenever DLC comes out. So most of this, most is uh, vanilla. Still, we're actually inside Vault 88 uh, already. I've done the quest. If you're not doing survival mode, uh, it's any of the lesser modes, and you've got, you know, quick travel enabled and all that, not going to take you very long. Not going to take you very long. Uh, there's also a couple areas to explore. I actually haven't finished that yet, but it's a pretty simple thing to do. Yeah, you can actually explore the three sectors, which will be actually be able to add into your uh, vault, as it were. So it actually does become rather well. We'll show you the uh, one area we already did uh, pick off. Yeah, so far there's a couple of posters there. We'll get to that in just a second. There's quite a lot in this, actually. It is kind of beefy. Though why Bethesda can't uh, do bunk beds yet is kind of beyond me. Yeah, there's already mods that have that. Yeah, all this is you can expand upon. It's just quite a bit of an area. Yeah, you'll spend quite a time uh, just scrapping everything here. Yeah, this is just a ton. It goes on for quite a ways as well. So you'll have to get a little creative with this area here, but... Yeah, it goes on quite some area. And the other areas, though I want to say not quite as large as this first sector, are still a decent size. Though you can't... I'm sure we'll get a mod that actually gets rid of that, but a lot of this here, uh, you're probably going to have to work around because you get creative with. Because, yeah, the rail cars uh, can't get rid of. It's not a bad area, though. You know, you can make something uh, with this. I just kind of wonder if I can scrap that. Nope, nope. I was going to open that maybe lead up somewhere or something, but... So far, yeah, a lot of the reviews I've seen... On Steam are the have mostly the people that uh, don't uh, like the settlement stuff. They want you know like kind of like uh, old world blues, other DLCs. They want the big story. I mean, there's a little bit of a quest. At least they give us a little bit of a quest. I'm not gonna take you long though. Yeah, there is one little fetch quest. You gotta go up to uh, Halogen Incorporated, pick up a package. Uh, but other than that, otherwise it's just crafting stuff. And I wanted to talk about the, the most amazing thing, the most amazing thing for DLC, because I just, I, I love this character. I think he should be in uh, Nuka World. I think he should be a companion. So anybody want to make a mod to make Clem a companion? Oh, please do so. Please do so. Zero real quick, we'll check out. Yeah, the Volta boy and girl statues. Pretty actually nice. It's a nice little Dutch. And actually, they've got uh, Voltec posters. Quite a few, because they actually went through every one. Plop one down. There's quite a bit. We've actually got nice speakers. That's actually that super reactor. Though I did be a little confused like how the power works. I still got to figure that out. Because there's wall conduits. But the wall conduits don't quite transfer to the wall. This DLC has a little bit of bugginess to it. Uh, I can admit. Okay, let's first let's get the, the experiments first. There's actually about... Uh, three things you can craft. Four things, actually. And after you do the specials and do the quest, etc. Should be under resources. Vault. Yeah, it's power cycle. This actually produces electricity. Man, look at her go! With the backpack and everything. That's that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. And the photoruptor. Which all these give you a little boost. Give you a little temporary boost, I believe. And that produces happiness. Oh, this produces happiness. And I don't want to really spoil it too much for you, but there's some really kind of... It doesn't really influence all the way you do it in the quest line, but there's some funny stuff that Clem does as well. And then you can make slot machines as well. Actually, I have mine set up so they always win, which doesn't make us a lot of money in because you can make caps in the vault, but at this point, if you're playing Fallout 4 at 400 hours, I really don't care about caps. Well, let's go talk to Clem real quick. I, I I cannot say enough good things about Clem. It is all about Clem in this. 
Yeah. This is actually, you can equip them all. You get about 10 Vault uh, 88 suits. And you get 10 Pip Boys. Uh, but Clem, I don't know if it's because I've got the mod on uh, for the Pip Boys uh, still. That uh, shouldn't affect it. But uh, Pip Boy does not work for anybody else. I've got a Settler mod. Maybe that's affecting it. But I can't even equip that. That's the one thing I have noticed. Which will give you a, beast, a little tour of this. I would definitely say I, I give it a thumbs up. I definitely worth the five bucks. And then of course all the person said mods do it better. I played a lot of mods and I don't think they do it quite as well as this fault. I mean eventually they'll come someone come up with some mods after using these resources that will be better, but uh we'll have to wait till then. This is the beginning of Vault eighty eight. Yeah, it's done up by uh, Quincy actually. We'll just show it real quick here. In relation to Diamond City. I haven't done too much on this character. Kind of power leveled it over the weekend. So it's a little bit off the beaten path. It's not too bad. For some reason we keep leaving the Vault 88 door open. And it's quite a nice mod though. And actually you can take uh, to your other settlements. You can actually use all that vault -Tec stuff on the other settlements as well. Even like Spectacle Island I did see in the Bethesda live stream. They did actually, you know, build a big gigantic vault out there. Actually, you will notice this is the vault -Tec Workshop. Not quite. Uh, I've not actually had a nap in this game. I've just been drinking Nuka-Cola. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. Got a little security room. We actually can turn your uh, radio beacon on and off to get more settlers. You actually, you start with the little reactor with about 150 power. I want to check that out while I'm at it. I'm kind of wondering how that connects. Evidently, it's powering everything else. It produces 150. Well, let's put something on the wall and see what happens. Just kind of curious. And then I'll go over some of the crafting stuff. So let's, well, let's see if I can actually... It requires power, so I think we need conduits. Yeah, it's a little like... I had one job, Bethesda. They made this a little more complicated. I've been running wires because it seems to make this a little more complicated. I'm sure I'm just doing it wrong, though, so don't mind me, folks. Yeah, it just seems a little weird. And the doors don't seem to... The vault doors that they have don't seem to snap onto uh, the frames, which is just another thing that kind of boggles my mind. Of course, you see here we have uh, three different uh, defense things they can man. Just a vault -Tec office, a little bit of a, almost like a gunner barrier, and then a vault -Tec control post. It's kind of nice. It's not too bad. But these things, I just, I, I found these under the miscellaneous kind of stuff. There we go. Oh, I gotta do, do my reps. Oh, yeah. Man. Oof. Feel the burn. Actually, you can see yeah, all the posters. Different items you can get. A lot of furniture that is not crap. Uh, we don't care what you think, Preston. We can get into the vault. A statue poster signs. If you want to mark all your different areas, quite a few. And of course, you get a barber shop and a surgery chair. You can't really do that on settlers, but you can do it back on yourself. So you don't have to go out to Diamond City, I guess. But a lot of mods already kind of do that. So that's kind of neat. And we got some miscellaneous, just consoles, other you know, just going for that aesthetic stuff. Crates. I don't actually have a mod that does this, but that's. Let's see if that's a. So I think the mod does that a little better, but it's not a bad. It's got a little Christmas tree in here. That's kind of cool. Let's actually go up and see Overseer or Barstow. Yeah, I've just been messing around, experimenting before we actually build a vault. 
And what did you say? They have these lighted signs that are actually really, really awesome. I've seen a lot of sign mods, but this does it pretty well. I like what they've done. Though, yeah, figuring out the wall conduits is just... Because you're going to have to put a wall conduit there, and that wall is attached. It still... I need to attach a wire, which is just the most badass confusing thing. Uh, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's Officer, uh, Overseer Barstow. Can truly begin. She's a little bit evil. Uh, but the, the, you, I, I do uh, advise you to try the different the kind of uh, ways you can do this quest, though, because it's got some funny experiments. Yeah, Clem is a good sport. But overall, yeah, I gotta give this a thumbs up. Uh, it actually does have a straight up workshop DLC. It does have a little bit of quest, a little bit of explore. Yeah, you're gonna be need to be above level 20. Above level 20. Uh, even though the enemies around here are around level 30 ish. So you're gonna have to, you know. Be careful, it's going to be a little bit of a rougher time. But, uh, I, I definitely give this a thumbs up. This is pretty nice. I mean, it's not story content. I mean, that quest doesn't take very long. It's mostly just crafting and trying out these experiments on Clem. Which is hilarious, by the way. We, we don't have a farm. Well, that's okay. I don't even know why she's assigned to that bike. I don't need two electricity, but... Anyway... So, alright guys, that's everything for the, uh, vault -Tec DLC next month. Yeah, Nuka World. That should be pretty interesting. We're actually going to be able to go to amusement park, different areas, and might be able to raid settlements. So, we might be turning, uh, into a raider next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video.